This video shows the overview of cervical cancer treatment guideline and survival rate statistics by stage. The overview covers all stages of stage 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, including prognosis and life expectancy studies by authorities. Starting from stage 0 cervical cancer that is confined to the cervix surface without growing into deeper tissues. This stage is also called carcinoma in situ CIS, or high-grade cervical intraepithelial neoplasia CIN3. These precancerous cervical cell changes are usually caused by high-risk human papillomavirus HPV. If not treated, these moderate or severe cervical dysplasia may become cancer and spread to nearby normal tissue. Conventional stage 0 cervical cancer treatments include cryotherapy that uses chemical to freeze off abnormal tissues, or laser surgery that utilizes high-intensity laser light to destroy abnormal cervical cells. Loop electrosurgical excision procedure or LEAP is usually performed after abnormal tissues found in pap test. Colposcopy or biopsy. Sometimes also known as large loops excision of the transformation zone. This procedure uses wire loop heated with electric current to remove abnormal cervical cells. Other stage 0 cervical cancer treatment options include cold knife conization and cold coagulation. According to FIGO staging system, Stage 1 cervical cancer is confined within the cervix without spreading. The patients diagnosed with stage 1 cervical cancer are divided into two groups. Stage 1A and stage 1B that are further divided into smaller groups based on the size of cancer growth. Stage 1 cervical cancer is curable for the majority of patients. Cervical cancer treatments depend on the patient's desire to maintain fertility and wish to have children in future as well as the exact location of the cancer and her other health conditions. For stage 1A1 and 1A2 cervical cancer, cone biopsy is recommended for those who still wish to have children, while surgery and radiation are options for women who do not want to maintain fertility. For stage 1B1 and 1B2 cervical cancer, radical trachelectomy is recommended for women who wish to have children. While surgery and radiation or chemoradiotherapy are treatment options for those who don't want to maintain fertility. Among these conventional medical treatment for stage 1 cervical cancer. The most common are surgical procedures like simple hysterectomy or radical hysterectomy to remove uterus, cervix, and pelvic lymph nodes with cancer. Some patients do not prefer surgery or they cannot undergo surgical procedure because of existing medical conditions. In this case radiation therapy can be given by using external beam radiation therapy, or brachytherapy by placing a device filled with radioactive material inside vagina. Radiation may be combined with chemotherapy for stage 1B treatment. Cone-shaped wedge of tissue is removed from the cervix during cone biopsy. If the edges of the cone biopsy still have cancer cells also known as positive margins, then this may need to follow up with repeat cone biopsy or radical trachelectomy. If the cancer has grown into blood or lymph vessels, a radical trachelectomy is preferred, which is to surgically remove most of cervix and upper part of vagina. Studies show 5-year survival rate for cervical cancer stage 0 is about 91% to 93%, and stage 1 is about 80% to 93%. For instance, when invasive cervical cancer is found at an early stage and not spread. Research by University of Rochester Medical Center shows survival rate of about 91%. Whereas statistics revealed by American Cancer Society shows 5-year survival rate of about 93% for stage 0 and 1A. And about 80% for stage 1B cervical cancer. Five-year survival rate estimates the prognosis of a disease. Means percentage of people who live at least five years after being diagnosed with cancer. Cervical cancer is caused by long-term human papillomavirus infection. According to World Health Organization, high-risk HPV 16 and 18 cause 70% of cervical cancers and precancerous cervical lesions. Research show there are proven natural ways of boosting immunity to fight HPV and cervical cancer in parallel. They are supported by clinical studies and actual patient success stories, including regression of CIN cervical dysplasia and HPV-negative test results. 
One of them is AHCC or active hexose correlated compound. In Japan, AHCC is used in over 700 hospitals and clinics mainly to fight against most tumors in cancer treatment. Produced from mushrooms called shiitake, AHCC is an alpha gluc and rich nutritional supplement that boosts body immunity. It works by increasing the production of body's dendritic cells and natural killer cells. It also serves as immunomodulatory agent that helps keep our body immune system strong and balanced. According to research by the University of Texas Health Science Center, dietary supplement AHCC appears to be promising for eradication of HPV. In this clinical study, 10 women with persistent HPV infection received 3 grams daily of AHCC on an empty stomach for up to 6 months. 5 out of the 10 participants achieved negative result for HPV infection within weeks to months of taking AHCC. Among them, 3 of these women are reported to have confirmed HPV eradication. Not only that, many user testimonials show AHCC can really get rid of HPV as confirmed by pap smear and HPV test results. This supplement is helpful in fighting off HPV-16 and HPV-18 that cause 70% of cervical cancers. Shiitake mushrooms have been known for centuries for their healing properties and health benefits in Asian countries. As reported by the World Journal of Clinical Oncology, AHCC can increase production of tumor necrosis factor alpha. It is also clinically proven to reduce the chemotherapy side effects such as hair loss and nausea. With over 20 human studies and more than 100 preclinical studies, this natural mushroom extract has been successfully used to treat a wide range of health conditions. According to FIGO staging system, stage 2 cervical cancer means the cancer has grown beyond the cervix and uterus and begun to spread outside the cervix neck. Patients diagnosed with stage 2 are divided into stage 2A and stage 2B. Depending on whether the cancer has spread into the tissues next to the cervix called the parametria. Stage 3 means the cancer has spread to the lower part of vagina. If the tumor has not grown into the pelvic walls then it's stage 3A. However if the tumor has grown into the pelvic walls and blocks the ureter or the cancer has spread to lymph nodes. Then it's stage 3B. Stage 4 means the cancer has spread to organs outside the cervix and womb. It's stage 4A if the cancer has spread to nearby organs such as the bladder or rectum. And stage 4B if the cancer has spread to distant organs beyond the pelvis such as the lungs or liver. Stage 4B is also called metastatic cervical cancer. According to medical professionals, stage 2 and stage 3 cervical cancers are currently best managed by chemoradiotherapy, which is a combination of radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Patient with stage 4B might receive a combination of treatment that includes radiation chemotherapy and surgery. While the patient may also be asked if she wants to join clinical trial for experimental cervical cancer treatment. According to 5-year cervical cancer survival rate revealed by the American Cancer Society and Cancer Research UK. Statistics show stage 2 is around 50% to 63%, stage 3 is around 32% to 40% and stage 4 is around 5% to 16%. While National Cancer Institute revealed overall 66.2% of American women with cervical cancer survived over 5 years. It is important to understand that statistics on the cervical cancer survival rates are only estimate. And they can't predict what will happen to any individual person. There are a variety of factors that ultimately influence a patient's decision to receive treatment of cancer. The survival rates and life expectancy depend on many factors besides cancer stage and health condition of patient. According to statistics from Cancer Research UK, younger patients have better chances of successful treatment. Data shows the age of patient when cervical cancer is diagnosed has significant impact on the likely prognosis. And as with most cancers, patient says cervical cancer survival rate and long-term outcomes have improved over the years. This is thanks to the development of new cancer treatments and therapies that are more effective. The cervical cancer survival rate also varies by countries and racial differences. According to World Cancer Research Fund, 
the highest incidence of cervical cancer was in Africa and Latin America, whilst the lowest incidence in Northern America and Oceania. Study also revealed five-year cervical cancer survival rates for white women are 69% versus 56% for black women. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share this out.